Um, I'd like to start the meeting. Um, it's 6.03, we'll call it. Um, so could somebody shut the, if you want to join the meeting, come on, we're about ready to start. I'm going to shut the door. Okay. okay. Grab yourself a chair. We never know how many people are coming, so we, let's help yourself around here. Um, Yeah, and doing the distance thing is great. Okay, so um, so we have started the meeting. Um, are there any adjustments at all to the agenda? I have nothing. Okay, I have one. Um, I'm going to strike the hardwood cassette thing, but I do want to talk about it a little bit. I could do that right now, quickly, or. We could wait till, um, there's no decision that's going to be made about this, but I just wanted to share why that is on there. I guess I'll leave it there and do that in the moment. I'm not making the same one, which one you got here? Uh, you must have an must older have one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, so you guys have a, the, the first draft of the agenda it changed, and I think I. This is what was on the front porch form. Um, okay, I thought I sent them to your to the town office too after I had the final draft. But okay, um, all right. So um, and then the other. Now I've forgotten what the other adjustment was, but it wasn't major. It's just in the follow-ups. So is there any public comment at all? No? Okay. So um, I guess we'll approve the bills to the town by signing them after the meeting. Um, and then uh, for the minutes from our last uh, meeting on September 27th, is there a motion to approve those? So moved. Okay, I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so those have been approved. Um, town clerk's report. Okay. And use it citizens of World Heart because that didn't have a problem with it. Times artist, it mm -hmm. took me one, two, three, four different emails and multiple phone calls mm -hmm. before it finally got into the newspaper on the seventh of October. Okay. Yeah. And I have um, one for the audit proposal. Mm -hmm. That one is going in use it citizen world heart because that this week and I have not heard back from the Times Irish. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah, I have recordings up today, and I spent two hours training with Kim, Kim Reeves in Greensboro. She's a town clerk mm -hmm. up there. We put the land records into the new mark system. Uh huh. No. Great. So maybe um, with your mentioning in that first part of your report about the Times Argus and. Um, so the reason, and I'm going to I'm going to segue right into the Gazette because it kind of relates to what Robin uh, mentioned in her the beginning of a report. Um, so we had to warn the town plan hearing, which is on October 18th, um, here a, a week from today, and uh, we used the Gazette and the Times Argus as part of the public notice, um, and the Times Argus, you know, failed to. Uh, put that notice in for three weeks. Um, so that kind of screws up the the warning. Um, um, so probably this, the Planning Commission is meeting tomorrow night. We're probably going to change that date just to be on the safe side because, you know, there are all these steps that need to happen and that's uh, kind of a chink in one of the steps, noticing the meeting properly and Somebody could call the town on that um, if they wanted to. Um, it might not hold up in a court hearing, but it might. So, um, you know, I've talked to VLCT um, and their lawyer, and they, you know, they always say uh, to err on the side of caution. 
Um, and that was the suggestion also from um, Claire Rock, the Regional Planning Commission person that we're working with. So chances are that meeting date will get uh, changed. Um, but, you know, in doing, making these calls, um, I realized that, you know, the Hardwick Gazette no longer puts out a paper copy. They only do an online version, and in order to get that, you have to subscribe to the Gazette. So it doesn't really seem like a good print paper medium for us to use anymore, because it's kind of exclusive. If you aren't a subscriber, you don't get it. Here's the ad for the planning commission, the zoning there. Mm -hmm. That was $97. Mm -hmm. To the Gazette? To the Gazette. Yeah. And the one for the audit proposal is $63. Mm -hmm. So what we might want to do is kind of not use the Gazette anymore um, and think of other, we have those other options that you met. Another one that was suggested is the newspaper Seven Days. It's free, it's distributed throughout the area. Um, I don't know if the ads would be free, but the paper itself is free. Um, so we, we'll maybe think about that and uh, at least uh, I don't think the Gazette really at this point in time is the greatest place to place anything. Um, so that's, that's what that's all about. That's why I had that on there. Um, and that was, seemed like a good time to bring it up. Um, any questions at all for Robin with, with the report? We're good? Okay. Um, just, I don't know everybody that's here this evening, so before you leave, could you give Tegan Martell, our scribe, your name so that we can record that you are here tonight? Okay. Thank you. Um, so town treasurer's report. So over the last two weeks, um, the gross for payroll was $9,691.53. Accounts payable, $48,000. $106.56. Electronic transfers coming into our checking. Um, there was one for $2,015 even, and that was a, um, a land, a current land use um, mm -hmm. that was coming. It, 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 uh, it's credit to our revenue, mm -hmm. our, um, our tax revenue. Um, Cash receipts income was $231,445.16. Majority was tax payments. Um, there was library donations, book sales for the library, records restoration, copies at cost, and land recording and vault fees. Um, delinquent taxes income over the last two weeks was $401.17. I have transferred over into our money market 140000 even over the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do a transfer today. Um, uh, we were good and clear. And, um, I have more, a, a large property tax to bucket um, tomorrow. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions at all for Brandy? I think I had, actually, I had a job. Um, so I, one of the items that I saw in the bills were uh, laptops. Did, did the yeah. garage and the town office get it, new laptops? Yes. Great. Um, okay. Our IT guy, Skip Marcassani, mm -hmm. um, attempted to um, update my take-home laptop and Greg's. Mm -hmm. um, there was no updating. So we got new ones. Um, she works right. I took it home over the weekend. There's no glitches, so um, being prepared going forward is another month that mm -hmm. So as far as I put um, an email out to the LCT asking if I could invest the ARPA money. Mm -hmm. For a, either a 10 or 12 month CD. Um, she indicated that it was fine, but to check with the CPA or um, an accounting firm. Mm -hmm. So I put an email out to an accounting firm and they said check with the LCD. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yep, that's not unusual. So that would be a no. <laughs> Chance has volunteers now for that committee. I just maybe we should put him on the agenda for next month or next meeting. Okay, yeah, I'd like to see the list of, of people that he yeah. has on there. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Um, okay, anything else? Any other questions for Brandy? No. Well, we'll see how much we make in with our 0.4 percent interest on this. We're gonna be going on a trip somewhere. Right. Um, so, um, town highway report. <clears throat> um, we finished the grant, uh, uh, grant work up on Cabin Road. Mm -hmm. So that should be complete. I think Greg is met with you and yep. everything's good. Yeah, invoices still. We're still waiting for a few mm -hmm. invoices to come in. Okay. They'll want um, it to clear the bank first, so it'll be at least a couple of weeks before I can find out this. As long as everybody knows we're going to work. Mm -hmm. We can close that grant out. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice road up through there. Yeah, I just drove it today. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, we uh, are in the middle of resurfacing the Wilmer Road mm -hmm. with the gravel we bought, pre-bought. Mm -hmm. uh, the county road from the four corners to the bottom of the hill just before you get up to town line has been mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. uh, we resurfaced up here. We finished the parking lot at the school today. Not the annex. Right. But mm -hmm. the school parking lot is mm -hmm. done. Um, in fact, Paul, oh, I'd like to meet with you at some point about my ideas over there by the food shelf. Okay. Just get with me before we leave and we'll get a time. Yeah, yeah. Um, East Long, uh, last meeting I asked about putting mm -hmm. some gravel up there. We put that up there today. Uh, the lady that wanted it hired Ronnie Langevin to mm -hmm. use his bobcat to smooth it up. And I was up there to make sure there was no problem with the neighbors and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. The guy came out and said, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Help the driveway. Uh, I guess the only other thing I have is, is it Diego or Dale over on the counter? Uh, Diego. Diego. Alex. Now yeah. he's got some cherry trees about that big around way right in the travel part of the road. Mm -hmm. And I stopped and asked him tonight, to move them and he fired his chainsaw up and went back to work. Yeah, that's that's what he does. Well, You're lucky he didn't fire something else <laughs> with the neighbors. I was waiting, so, I was hoping. Yeah. <laughs> but we need to go with the lumber and push them out of the road and make these stay with mm -hmm. You might want to have some type of law enforcement person with you. I don't need law enforcement. Well, I need the okay for you to tell me to clean the road. That's what I need. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable giving you that okay. Um, just <clears throat> being aware of past history with this person. So I need to take it on myself. No, you don't. We need to have call the state police or and get some. No, wait a minute. I'm a road commissioner. I ain't law enforcement. I think I tell new people. That's fine. We can call. I mean, he needs to go do it. We just. Uh, yeah, but this isn't a situation where this this could become a pretty nasty situation if you do that. And I would like to try I to avoid. No, I tell you people to call the state police, send uh, a registered 
letter, whatever you want to do. I don't care what you do. Mm -hmm. But we can't have them all the way. I understand that. Somebody's going to hit them and it's going to be a bad situation. I agree 100% with that. Yep. But um, I just, you know, I think... I don't want you getting hurt or any of the road crew or just something crazy happening and there, the potential well, for that is... All right, then I'm, I guess that I'm going to throw it back to you. You, you send in a wretched letter and tell him to get it cleaned up, get state police up there and do whatever you want to do. All right. So what, what I'm thinking that we should do is we should notify him. I mean, it seems like he would know, but we should send a letter. We could just stick it on his truck. Um, for what that's worth, or send it certified so that we have I a record. I think it's got to be certified. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. I've had All right. So yeah. we'll send a certified letter, and um, and then when you are ready to do that, um, we can give them a date that you're going to be there to remove the trees if they haven't been removed. Okay. Uh, right. We'll schedule either state police or a game warden or some type of law of enforcement to be there to help with that situation. I can call uh, somebody from the Agency of Natural Resources. There is a compliance and enforcement person with, that's been working with Alex for a few years now um, and is pretty much ready to go to litigation over other stuff that's there with him from the state. Um, he might be able to help out also, but. Well, there needs to be a bill that goes with it. Because that lawyer should not go from South Woodbury all the way over there, uh -huh. remove that stuff, and go back to South Woodbury for nothing. Right. When there's no need of it. Right. We can give that person a bill, um, whether or not we would ever get compensated yeah, for sure it. Yeah, I'm sure you'll never see anything. Right. Yeah. Maybe it involves a lien on a house. Right. So does that sound, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it needs to be done. So I would right. get the letter out as soon as possible mm -hmm. um, with a date. What I would do is just say it needs to be moved by date certain or we'll move it. Right. Right. And then make sure that he has police with him when he and goes. And make sure that it says we will move it at right. your expense. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It basically okay. just says it's got to be gone by a date certain. And yeah. Well, that letter, I can write that letter up. tomorrow and I can bring it down to the town office and we can get it out in the mail tomorrow. Um, and just have it and say, it, you know, or by this date, we'll come right. with a loader and move it, and you'll have to pay the bill. Yeah. Do you have a date in mind, or do you want to just kind of Tomorrow. wait? I asked him, I talked to him tonight, and he said that the town is in his business, and I said, well, I expect to see these logs going in the next day or two, because it's at mm -hmm. So, yeah, I have a date in mind. It should have happened yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's say, let's give the letter three days to get there. So today is Monday, a week from today, and a week from tomorrow we'll move. Okay, all right. So October 18th. I agree with that. First thing in the thinking about using the game warden. We have a new one for this area. We have this information at Okay, I don't know who would I'll call the state police. Yeah, I advise state police go and, um, if they'll go. Yeah. And um, I don't know who they'll send, but um, I'll make that and I'll make that call tomorrow too. You know, I don't want to be a pain in the ass to anybody, but this has been going on all summer. I know, and it's going to, it goes on all winter, too. Yeah. I'm sure it does. Yeah. And so somewhere, somebody's going to set an example and make sure it gets carried out. Uh -huh. He yeah. terrorizes yeah. the whole street there. Yeah. If you walk, he'll point his truck at you and drive as fast as he can at you. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, there's a pretty long or ending history that continues with this particular person. No, so, yeah. And he shoots it. Yeah. He shoots it. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Right. Right up in the road. It's right in the road. Yeah. Okay. So um, we'll get on that tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Can I throw an idea out there? Sure. I don't know him personally, but I have him at how about I'll stop over there and talk to him? You don't it, mind doing it's, it. It's, it's an authority thing. Uh -huh. There's one told by authority. I didn't tell him. I asked you if he could move. No, no, I don't have a I get that. Still he wants to try it. Yeah. 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 If, if you've got a decent relationship, you think I, it's I, worth I, the I try. I don't want personally, no. But I'm going to stop that. Yeah, if you don't mind, I don't have a problem. Try to help. I think, you know, the instant. Oh, we need to call the cops. That's not going to help. Well, I think 
the, the cops are there to protect the road crew, the road from, crew. from being shot. And I get that, but Basically. he doesn't look at it like that. He's not going to look at it like that. Well, like I said, I'll stop if you think it'll work. And try to talk to him. You never know. Yeah, no, if you're willing to do that, that's you great. Know, and um, Try to do it in a civil way before you start bringing authority into it, because then it's just going to go sad. Yeah. Well, I, can't can't have have I think we already tried this other way. I get that. I pulled up there and said to him, told him who I was, and told him that this was a hazard that we needed to get out of the road, and that's when he went off on the town, and I said, well, I don't know what to tell you, but we can't have this way in the road. Mm -hmm. And then he started to change up and told me to have a good day. No, I told him that yeah. And he may, you know, from your talking with he him, maybe in a day or two, he'll move them. That may, may just be the initial reaction, but... He may. Yeah, so... I mean, I, I didn't give him a hard time at all. Yeah. But yeah. Go ahead. Thank yeah. you, Justin. We'll, we'll send a letter also. Um, we won't not do that. Yeah. Try to have a civil conversation with him. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Worth a shot. Yeah. Thank you. Anything else, Joe? Uh, the boys are starting to get ready for winter. We're uh, mm -hmm. gearing up. Both trucks been the travel uh, boys. Mm -hmm. So they're all fixed up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions at all for Chuck from anybody? Yeah. Uh, I was just uh, want to talk about the the class four rope thing on the cat on the north rope. Uh, for years and years and years, they used to grade that road once a year in the spring and bring in material on the road and spread it and mm -hmm. put it all out on, on, on the, by themselves. We didn't have to ask them to do it. Mm -hmm. And that is sent stock and they do bring material off when we ask. The problem is when they bring the material up, they dump it in a pile somewhere, and then they have to get another piece of equipment up there to move it around. And, you know, there's enough taxpayers on that lake out there that, are, you know, should get a little bit of something that transpires on that road goes to make it go faster. And then for a while there, there were rocks sticking out of it. I think Greg went out there with his tractor and dug a lot of them out. I think he was quite a job himself. Mm -hmm. But it would just be nice to have the town go up there and at least acknowledge the campers that, you know, we know you're out there and we'll take care of that first part of the road. They've only gone to South Camp Road as long as I can remember. But that, like I said, that's long since stopped. Right. Um, you know, uh, if Chuck is willing, maybe you could meet with Chuck up there and just talk about that some more. And if, you know, Chuck is our road commissioner, if he feels that's a project that we could do in the future. Um, you know, we, we it's pretty much uh, Chuck's call on that, um, whether or well, not they do. My, my idea is to stop doing it years ago. No, but I, don't, I don't know why it's I don't have an issue with it as long as you can get the grader in there. Can you get the grader in there? I was in the, um, uh, he was in there with a 10 wheel and dump truck. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Last week. I mean, if it used to happen, right. it would just stop. No one, no one. Well, they won't, they won't grade. Uh, Blue Gray Hill anymore. And right. the story I got, it's right here. I, I know the story to that oh, from our, our former road foreman who um, I guess slid down backwards in the winter trying to push back the snow banks on Blueberry Hill and I think that was the end of the grading on Blueberry Hill. But that doesn't mean that it can't... It seems to be everywhere on class four. Mm -hmm. The argument I get every time I mention doing something class four road, the only thing we to take care of is culverts and bridges. Well, that's legally what we're we're responsible for. Responsible, and actually now we're responsible for erosion too. But if um, we used to have, and we still do have, a class four budget that allowed us to uh, work on particular roads, class four roads, if they were needed. Um, I, that budget, you know, there was, I think it's like $3,500 every year is budgeted for that. So there's always that possibility. However, you know, um, the fact that the grading on the class four roads may have been stopped, um, it was before my time that that decision was made. And, and I've been on the select board now for eight years. So if. Tell me what you want to know. 
Well, we, we need to plan it out. We have a 30, if, we have, if we're going to have $3,500 in the budget, we can't do every, go and do every class four road in one year. So we need to kind of come up with a plan. Do we want to do the North Road to the South Road Camp Road next summer? Um, then we can budget and, and plan on that. And what about the North Camp Road? It used to be down to the North Camp Road. Say yeah. again, sir? North, North Camp Road. Right where the stop sign is? Right. Yeah, I'm I mean, sorry, up by East Long? No. Yeah. You go past South Camp Road. It's where most is. That's you most is. All right. <laughs> the cross road, as far as I know, stops at the south side. No, actually, it goes all the way through to the Cabot to Town, the line. Town, Town Line. It better, put, it better go all the way through because I turned around and drove away three times with my dump truck and they put the ledge there in it. So this kind of, I mean, I don't want to segue into class four roads yet, but let's use this north road as an example. So it goes, there's the, the north road into some camps and then there's the south road in, and then the road gets, the class four road gets significantly Degrade. more primitive. From the stop sign through the Oaks Pond is basically a trail. Right, it's, right. it's basically a trail and then the road actually splits, there's a Y, and the actual road goes to the right. And right now, somebody has a cable across that road on either side of their property. Which and, makes it impossible for us to work with it. And then the rest of the road down to the Cabot line. Cabot has thrown up the road from Coit's Pond. Yep. It's not a town road anymore. So to the Cabot line, that road was totally trashed by a logger up five or six years ago. There's tops of trees, the road's all chewed up. You, you, can, you can hardly even walk on it. That's so that part of the road belongs to that water. No, that's no, a class four road. Class that's four a road. town road. It doesn't belong to him. Road. He owns the property around it, but he doesn't own the road. No, but when the class four road, the lift up is all goes through the, where the campers are, that's the road that, that hasn't been maintained for. I, I agree. That's because yeah. it's actually not part of our designated road. Right. The other road that has been somewhat maintained, I don't know whether that's E.B. High that originally built that road or who actually did it. It does go into camps on Nichols Pond, too. Right. Yes. No. Yep. Um, so. so that is a designated road. Yep. So the road that you're talking about actually is not designated. So uh, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can work with that. So where does the class four road actually stop? At the Cabot at Town Line. Line. By Johnny George's old sugar house, basically. Okay. That's where it stops. No. So, and I'd have to get out a map and to find that there's no marker for a town line either. Oh, well, either way. map we have a little down there and show the going right straight through. Right. Yeah. It does go straight through. Um, right. You'd, you'd be pretty challenged to get through the Cabot part at this point. Because it doesn't well, exist anymore. No, it does exist, but well, uh, last year it's a walking trail. Well, last yeah. spring when I was over in there with a pickup, I drove right down to the camps on the end of Nichols Pond. I thought it was a pretty good road. Right. Except for that stretch that we fixed today. Right. The road that goes down to East Long um, is a private road, and it now has a gate on it. That's a gate. It's now, that's owned by E.B. Hyde, um, and they're the ones that maintain that road. Um, the road from um, where these, this young, these young folks are living, um, trying to homestead. Um, that new road, I don't know who built it, but it's been maintained by the uh, two or three camp owners that live on the backside of Nichols Pond. Um, That's where we stopped today, where the, where the young people took that little house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We pulled the big rock out of the road there and put lead mm -hmm. in and then filled the soft spot out through Back yeah. So if you thought, if, so Chuck, if, if you thought that next summer that would be a project for the road crew to work on the North Road, it would be good for the select board to have a sense of what would that cost the town, um, so that we can budget for it. We need to, you know, we need to be careful about budgeting for the future projects in, in you know, before, before the fact rather than after. Um, and you know we could either go with the $3,500 that we appropriate. We could appropriate more if it seemed. Um, but well, I'm relatively sure if these folks are coming in and want some action, that 
Well, that's that's the, that's the can of worms. So, but well, well, that's why we would probably kind of plan this out a little bit, and um, so other people that come, put them on the list, and and we'll kind of look at what we can do on some of these class four roads, uh, camp owners, um, you know, people people who build on a class four road. Um, really build with the understanding that the town isn't going to maintain it unless, um, you know, unless there are a significant number of people that start living along it and, and they petition to change the road from class four to class three where the town would basically maintain it and winter plow it, etc. Well, I believe they understand that when it's start, but they don't last long. I understand that, yeah, but that's part, that's one of the other dilemmas that the town comes up with, um, with these with the class four roads. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I when I was a kid I worked for the town and tailed the greater throwing stone down the road and we always went to East mm -hmm. Yeah. We went to Nichols. Yep. Yeah, and I don't know why it why it stopped, to be honest with you. I don't either. Um, um, but it maybe seems it's to me like they're here and if right. I might as well talk to them and see what we can do with it. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't ever remember making a decision not to hit it. Yeah, it was a lot of water yeah. 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 well, yeah. 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 of water. It was a lot of water. It would require tolerance. Well, even if they just want to brush it off. It's just, it's just so, here. Yeah. It doesn't sound like they're wanting to move, you know, rebuild right. the road. It's right. just right. they'd like it smoothed out a little bit. We're not really looking for a super highway anyhow. We don't want a road that, you know, two lanes wide. All we want is a road that's you know, great once a year, it's smooth. How do you get a great to a water bar? Well, no, I mean, yeah. Hey, we don't have water bar on that part of the road. Right, so, I, so I'm so i sorry, Chuck, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. You guys want a steady road, right? What's that? You want a steady road? Yeah. So you want something with no washouts, right? No washouts. Right. So you can't do it without culverts. Oh yeah, I know. I really do that. Okay, so we gotta do that. The um the parry road I'm talking about, well, who's he got uh Don't promise too much. Water, I'm and, just asking. Uh, we're always talking about Bailey or South Camp Road turned out and there isn't any water bears. Okay. So grade that once you So year. we can grade that. The other part where the water bears are, yes, I agree, you wouldn't have to put colors in. We gotta There's do no something else. Like Chuck said, you can't grade the water bear. Right? Okay. Yeah. The steep downhill section before you get to the south road? Yeah, just before you get to Moose Camp. Yeah. All right. On the road. So I think that the, the thing is that if you guys can tell us, give us a sense of what we need to do to make that road more maintainable, to get back to something that we had in the past, that might actually work. Yeah. But right now, we have no idea about how much how much and how far we want to really go and what grade of road we want to really do. If we have a sense of that, we can make it work. Yeah. Yeah, well, I agree. But we got we, we gotta go out and we gotta check it out. Yeah. You know? So we understand your position. Is that fair enough? I mean as far as the culprits go, I mean I guess that would be no, Chuck and Moose would have to get together. I, I think we'd have to do something, like but it's not going to happen. We know it's not going to happen this year. So, no, right? Oh, yeah, we know that. Okay. And it won't happen next year either with 75. Right, right. No, and that's. And, and, and so that's you can get that's with them and just yeah. get back to us on what you think it's going to cost to be able to grade it once a year. Right. To so, we've got to start with that. All the rest of the class four are still over there. No, we're starting here. All right. Okay, when you say the south road out, that moves back to the cabin road? Yes. Well, yeah, most of that's already done. Right. Yeah, the bottom yeah. is already done. Yeah, that's class that's three to class, class three. three. Yeah. That's, that's class, 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 class three, yeah. That's 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 why, why class three there and then class, class four? Where did, um, yeah, where is, where is that? From? There's no well, house yeah. there. Oh, there used to be a house uh, there. There's a few, there's a lot. There are people that still go down in there. Yeah, yeah, but there's uh, no house, there's no structure. But why, yeah. why does... There used to be a fire in the hollow down there with that long thing. Yeah. That was a long, that was long, a long time ago, long you're right. Time. And I don't, 
I have no idea, but they've always been that as a class three. Okay, right. just, so, just curious. I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to change anything, but I'm just always wondering why, I, I, yeah, why that me class too. three goes to nowhere. Right. Me too. Yeah. In fact, the part of the class three road this year we resurfaced. I'm hoping people notice that. Yeah. Yeah. They just wish you'd kept going, that's all. You <laughs> didn't go far enough. So. Come on. You made it too good. Hey, Bob, so it sounds like you're in charge of the, um, I'm, um, you're in charge of like the, you know, the technical details of how it gets done. And then you guys have, especially you, I'm sorry I don't know your name, you have a bunch of questions you want answered before. Who, who has the final approval? Chuck is our road commissioner. Chuck is our, we, yeah, that's we, what have, we, like, <laughs> we have we have the final approval because I'm, I'm telling what's up and yeah. telling what it means. Okay. So right. And then what I'm doing is this. is this the you're right 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 has the you're final right approval right. For, for the money yeah. spent. We got to approve fine, so we, we got to approve it. We don't no, want to get into it for uh, twenty. You guys have questions that he doesn't know about. Who should we talk to? You should talk, talk, to, talk to Chuck. Chuck. Talk to Chuck. He has all the questions. Yeah, so he, he would answer. What we want to do is, well, well I he, may not have all the answers, but I'll get you one. Right. Yeah. What we want is that he's going to say, here's the scope of work, and here's how much I think it's going to cost. And then he's going to come to us as a board. Okay. If it's simply grading, that's easy. But right. if, you if it's within the highway stuff. budget, it does, it's easy. Chuck well, needs to it's just check it. It's more road to do. The bottom of the hill up to the south camp road, it could use. A lot. Four to six loads of gravel before yeah. it gets home. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's that's the kind of thing he needs to tell us about yeah. what it's going to cost. Because yeah. we've also got to be, as soon as we start repairing of class four, we're going to have four, three other class four road people showing up. There are a lot of other class There's four roads. Not that that's going to not change my mind, but we got to be aware because they're going to be fixing yeah. our road. We're not fixing my road. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, won't, you won't need to tell anybody. Oh, yeah. People yeah. will know. Yeah. <laughs> But is we just got to be careful because we can oh, add a lot of expense. But but here's the thing, and this is coming from just one of your select persons, and I haven't consulted with these guys, so this yeah. is coming from me. If you have a class four road that you think was converted from class three to class four, and you don't know why, we'd that, like to know. That's not the case there. Not at all. It just what what would, what had happened before is once a year they'd run through and just grade it and smooth it up, and it stopped for some reason. Okay. And the thing is, so. Something you may want to keep. I, sorry, go ahead. No, Chuck, you're right. You may want to keep in mind that we may not get that the whole length in one year. It could take two or three years before we get out through there and get it. The way it ought to be, and ditches, and water barriers, and culverts, and yeah. Because when you start talking to construction like that, it starts running into about 150 bucks a foot. We don't want to have the morning of what took you more. But I'm saying, you know, yeah. we, we can work at it a little bit to a time and make a big difference, but it's, yeah. Not like we're going to jump right in there. And, you know. Well, like, I you know, love to see where this comes in, but there's not of us and I use equipment and stuff, and like, we're willing to work with it. You know, like, if that'll stretch the funds out to let it, you know, let us do the whole thing. Let's see where we, where we can get to. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you guys meet with Chuck? Um, either next spring. Uh, Chuck's not going to be around that much longer. This fall, so. Yeah, we're going to need to fall. Okay. Just if you want to put in the budget. Okay. All right. Um, and hey, then, Chuck, can you pull me in on that? What's that? Can you pull me in on those conversations? Yeah. And so we'll go. We'll go from there. Does that sound okay? And we'll and we'll, we'll plan on doing something next summer. Um, but what that will be is we'll you know have, we'll wait until Chuck has a look at it and talks with you guys. Oh, I thought they were asking. I'm pretty well thanks. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That's good. I think we're good. I like. I like. All right. Perfect. So um, I just put class four roads on the town highway report agenda um, just to bring up. Um, uh, another discussion, um, it's, and just this is just to plant a seed for discussion. I don't really want to get into it tonight. Um, we're already kind of over past our time. Um, 
When I first came on the select board, there were different class four roads. Um, there's a class four road off Route 14 down here, just before you get to Hardwick, where we had to repair a bridge. It cost the town about $15,000, I think. And it basically goes to one home. It's like somebody's driveway, but it's still classified as a cla town class four road. Um, there are other class four roads that um, really no one can drive on anymore. Um, I'm thinking of um, what's called uh, affectionately the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Um, that's a town class four road. It goes all the way from County Road up over the Woodbury Mountain Range and down um, onto Woodbury Mountain Road. Um, so there are some roads that you know, I kind of wonder, do we want to, and, and when you do this, it opens up a big can of worms. People get really upset. So, and I really, you know, we talked about it a little bit when I first was on the select board and it just seemed like it was a lot of effort and um, with a lot of people getting upset, it didn't really seem worth trying to do anything about it. But, but I'd like the, uh, my other select board members and Chuck to think about some of these roads in town that are, classified as a class four road that basically go to one house. Um, other roads that are totally impossible to drive unless you have a, an ATV or um, you know a mud bogging rig. Um, and just do we want to maintain, do we want to continue to keep them as class four roads? So that's, I don't really even want to discuss it tonight, but I'd like people to maybe just think about that and if we do want to discuss it, then we can start putting it on the agenda. Um, okay, it's definitely a hot button topic. Yeah, it's probably more trouble than it's worth. Well, it's more trouble than it's worth, probably. Yeah, I would agree. So, um, I, moving on to the next uh, thing that I tagged on the Town Harbor Report, I did play around um, with some figures for the uh, truck replacement, trying to come up with a sense of how we're going to do this into the future. Um, there are some extra copies of this if anybody wants one to look at. There aren't a lot. Um, anybody want one to look at? Let's see, I have three, yeah. of, three of them, I think. Um, so, I, I met with Brandy and she helped me come up with the, the numbers that are here. Um, and so I wanted to just start out at the top. Um, and this is just, um, this is my thinking about it. Uh, I'm not trying to advocate for anything. Uh, we do, um, I think we do have to try to come up with a plan for uh, replacing these, the two big plow trucks um, into the future. Um, so right at the moment on our, uh, the do to, um, do from um, listing for reserve funds, right now there's uh, $68,405 in the, what's called the Highway Equipment Replacement Fund, the HERF. Um, and that's at the end of fiscal year 21, which was uh, June 30th this, this year. Um, so right now we're in fiscal 22. Um, so Brandy, at the, um, right around this time of year, November 1st roughly, um, she will take the $90,000 appropriation that is in our budget every year for this fund and she will take from that the payments that we, that we make for any equipment that we have um, outstanding that we need to pay for. And at this point that's the low pro and the bucket loader. So. Um, so what I've done is look at FY22, um, and at the end of FY22, we will have $136,524 in that HERF fund. Um, at the end of the next year, um, again, um, putting in the remainder from making those two payments, fiscal year 23, which is the last year that we'll be paying for the bucket loader, we will be, we'll have $204,643. I have no idea what a truck costs nowadays. Um, but if it was around $200,000, theoretically we could replace one of the plow trucks in fiscal year 23. Um, we would uh, acquire it um, and then make that payment um, November 1st. But kind of keep those same payment schedule. We would kind of work that out. 
Um, so, but that would bring our, the HERF fund, I, I, you know, for sake of discussion, it, it would pretty much empty it out. And then $204,000 may not be enough. Um, but let's say it just flattened it right out. And then we would start over again. We would no longer be paying for the bucket loader, but we'd still be paying for the low pro. So each year we would be adding uh, $75,102 to the Highway Equipment Relief Fund. And in three years, um, still making two years of those will be payments to finish up paying for the low pro. Um, but in three years we would um, uh, get to the point where we would have $225,306. So theoretically we could purchase the second truck then um, both of these truck purchases would be free and clear. No loans, no interest rates. Um, and then uh, having done that and having paid off the low pro, we would start putting away a significant amount of money each year towards whatever else we wanted to buy. Or we could redo the ratios and put less in. But yeah, that's kind of, this is... Three rigs you have to replace. Yeah, so we would be having to replace the low pro. So... Um, you should have five years between the 10 and the Right. Uh-huh. Okay, well then we would have plenty of money by five years if you wanted to do really? that. Yes. Well, you ain't got money enough to pay for one yet. Well, I don't know how much it costs for them right now. Well, they were, around, they were around 240 last time we checked. Yeah, now I'm back at around 280 to 290 now. Oh, All right. Okay. Well, that's the thing. I don't know how much they cost. Uh, that's not my world, uh, knowing how much a so plow truck costs. Help us out. So, okay, so do you think when uh, with the fiscal year 24 we would have 279,000? Then you'd have one less. Okay, so if we waited one more year, um, yeah. so if we, yeah, if we waited, if we ordered next summer, if we ordered a truck next summer, it would take a year to come in. Yeah, right. we'd have all the money to pay for it. I'm thinking that's what you need to do. Okay, well that's you need to plan that's it for the next one five years later. What about we well? Them, we so got to get them separated because we they're they're one year apart right now, and you can't okay. spend a quarter million dollars all right. so two years in a row. Can we get anything out of the third? Yeah, there'll be a trade-in value. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get some money back, but not yeah. not a ton. Well, yeah. we so, got some good maintenance records. They've been Charlie Boyce, both of them have been kept yeah. right up in good shape. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be surprised what you get. You wouldn't right. get what you'd really like them, but you might be surprised what you get. Yeah. Because so, that second truck would have to last five years. Pretty old. Well, it's already. already yeah. yeah, but you know what, though? What we're years. talking about trains is that 99,000 yeah. miles. No, I hear you. Okay. Them trucks are designed for a million miles when they're okay. built. Yeah, all right. I agree. So if we order next summer, we get it the following spring. summer. I would even order it in the spring. Was it the spring? Okay. okay. Yeah, I just want us to kind of come up with a plan. That's all. That's yeah. um, So we'll plan for next. So. Uh, yeah, so we'll plan for next year, and that means that we would um, pay for it in fiscal year 24. Four. Um, if we can make that kind of arrangement with uh, whoever we're going to buy it from. Um, and you should pretty well have the money for it. Right? Yeah, would, yeah, yeah, by the time have, it gets here for yeah, sure. We would have $280,000. That was the plan. Yeah. So, and then. I'm okay. And then. I just can't see the town paying that much interest on the traffic. No, that's, we that's, agree. that's, that's the whole point. To avoid. That's the whole point in this discussion. Um, We're trying to avoid all of those payments. So if right. we if, if we, we went out another right. if we went out another five years, um, we would have more than. Yeah, we should have two years tied up in this already on the next truck. Not yet. yet. Next year, this year, and next year, then you start saving money for the next one. And in four years, you want to have it. We right, both our payments will be gone. It. Yeah, we'll have it. Yeah. And then the two ten wheels will be. Five years of power. Mm -hmm. The low pro, it plows some of the winter, don't do anything else. Right. right. So we can keep that going for quite a while. Yeah. So, so that sounds like maybe we have a tentative plan. Yeah, order next year. Order next order year, next year. pay for it. Yeah, yeah fiscal. I'll work. Okay, all right. Let's, um, so. I wrote it right on the paper. Probably by the time we get to uh, fiscal year 27. I don't think I'd be on the select board anymore. Maybe there'll be any of my problems anymore. 
<laughs> so we'll have left a nice setup for somebody. We'll hopefully worry about stick, that later. Hopefully they stick exactly. with it. Okay. That's so what we're talking about. Yep. Okay. It won't be me, but it'll be somebody. So this is great. We sort of have a plan. Let's kind of we'll document this somehow so it's in public memory because I'm not going to be on the select board. Then put and, it right in the computer. Yeah. There you go. Okay. The catch is is keeping future select board members to not steal the money with the HERF appropriation. They're not putting the money in the HERF. That's where we ended up with all these loans was short yeah. that HERF. Yeah. That's what happened in the past. Well, okay. In a road commission, turn around and drive a standard dump truck. Because it, it's okay. tempting not to put the money in, but you're going to pay triple that when you put it back eventually. Yeah. With interest. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. I will make a summary of our plan and we'll uh, look at it at our next select board meeting and approve it for what that's worth. At least and, be there um, for history. Prices? Can I talk with Greg to get prices? Yeah, let's get some please. prices. Yeah, uh, please, let's please do. That would be good. You let Chuck do it. Okay. You guys come up with some prices for us so that we can factor it into this thing and, and make sure it's going to work. Well, we're probably but I don't want to do some shit first. Okay. Because then going out to bid and stuff, yeah. we didn't do that the last couple of purchases. Right, no, we will go out to bid. Um, but having you know, having some figures from you guys, from the road crew, would help. And then we can plug those into this scenario that we're thinking as a plan and make sure it's going to work. Okay. Okay, any other questions about that discussion from anybody? Do you have a question? Sure. What is the sensitivity to interest? Is there, it must be a major sense. Paying the bank for something. Paying the bank for something. No, I mean, for that's for thousands of dollars. That's the way I live my life too, but I'm just saying, like, with interest rates so low, why wouldn't you take advantage of your interest rates? I think it's just the general curmudgeonness of. Well, in the fact that well, we're paying, in the fact that we're paying rates. basically a third again. The last two trucks we're paying for a third of a truck. It's not a, it's not a zero percent interest rate. When right. You have to up that kind of money. It's right. You're, exactly. you're borrowing a truck. You take one you're paying on a low pro and a bucket, and a bucket loader, loader for four years, and all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. You're you're paying paying time yeah, you're paying time fast. Yeah, because when I got here, right. I'm not blaming anybody, but we had hundred and hundred and some thousand in payments. Sixteen thousand. Well, hundred and sixteen thousand in truck payments a yeah. year, and that just was not cool. I didn't think. Brand, yeah, Brandon really? probably you has the one. You don't want your taxes to go up, I'll bet you. Yeah, that's right. No. <laughs> just curious, I wonder what the sensitivity was to the interest. That's all. Yeah, yeah that's like it, it just gets piled up. It adds up to quite a, little, a lot of money. <laughs> so, right now, the low growth, it's, it's the seven years that we're paying on this. Yeah. And what's the percentage rate interest? It's probably one and a half, two percent. I don't know, right? Yeah. Most of the municipal stuff is one and a half, two percent right now. Mm -hmm. But it's not a story, it's seven years that we're paying on that. Yeah. So it's, it's just paying more for it. If we can kind of put our pennies away and buy it outright. Instead of buying a truck, you're buying a truck and a half. So and you ain't getting no use out of that. Yeah. Unless it is out of the money, but yeah, okay. I like your guys' idea, I think it's great. So you're rather buy something outright than have no money on it. And that was always, that was, that was always what was done historically, but what happens is that there's a tendency to say, well, you won't want to put the 90,000 in the fund. We can lower the tax rate by not doing it. And then you end up paying a lot more. You just don't feel it. And yeah. I'm sure if the money's still kicking around, it's going to get used for something else. Right. right. It's always, it's, it's, a budget is a budget. It's an estimate. It's an estimate. There's always things that yeah. get a storm and we're over on this or over on that. So, but we purposefully put this money in the HERF, which means we can carry the money forward, forward. but it can't be spent on anything else but highway equipment. So, so that, was our, that was our goal. Except when select board members. Yeah, well, that was legal. Didn't mess with it. Yeah. But you cannot put the money in, but once it's in there, you can't use it for except for the per because the voters approved that fund. Right. Otherwise, we're not allowed to have a savings account. So that's the money that's tucked away for specifically this specific purpose. purpose, and it was voted on by the town to do so. And the town and the town agreed. Yeah, yeah. So they voted on it. So it's not on us. It's yeah. on you guys. So we're just trying to get back on that road. We we're just, just got to pay for what we bought first. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anything else on that? Good Move on. Okay. Yeah. No, it was a good discussion. Excellent discussion. Um, so, the horses on Cabot Hill, I drove by there today, they're all within their fence grazing happily. I haven't heard, um, any, I haven't complaints. heard any complaints, I haven't heard from Kim Silk. Well, the thing that is, is that she put a trailer in there and put a bale of hay on it, and where were the horses? They were near the bale of hay. They were near the bale of hay. Yeah. Yeah, so there's been no issue.
that's you. That's so. the trick for the animals. You develop all those right. 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 So maybe, maybe that we'll trick has been learned. Hold on. I've heard for years. I know. <laughs> I'm pleased that there hasn't been a problem. Right. Me too. Yeah. yeah. It seemed so like it was snowballing. Win win winter is going to be different. Yeah. Well, the person. Horses, they're leaving for the winter. The person oh. said that they would be boarding the horses over the winter. Okay, so just, um, I guess the fact that there hasn't been any incidences, we'll just move on from that one. Um, so the town hall, um, we did get an estimate for the removal of the bats in the attic above us and also for the removal of the, um, their droppings, guano. Um, from uh, the Eliminator Pest and Property Service. Can I have the guano? <laughs> um, you might be able to. If it can be removed in like packages. Hey, I don't know how you're going to do it. But people, people sell it in little bags for, to, for a fertilizer. Yeah. There, there are, there are issues with some of the paint. Okay. So we have to be careful. There might be like combination. We have to be careful about that. Gotcha. Some of the paint. But well, yeah. we have lead paint here. Yeah. We have lead paint okay. in this building. Which you may not want. Yeah, I don't know how much we have in, in the attic. That's in the paint. That's in the, paint. the attic isn't painted at all. Yeah. So what is the amount? I, I read it. So yeah. It's, so um, it's relatively small. Yeah. So the yeah, it's very reasonable, um, which is amazing. Um, so to exclude the bats, which would mean um, it's pretty much the fascia where the roof edge and the fascia meet up here. That's all open. Um, so they would um, seal the entry points with a one-way exits so the bats can go out and then can't come back in. And then once uh, there's a certain time period that they let them um, get out um, and then they'll come back in and basically seal up where the, these uh, one-way cones are and then uh, seal up how the Robin got locked out. <laughs> seal we don't up. want any. I thought it was the car warranty guys. Oh, you did get one. They'll seal up how the bats are getting in for, and they'll guarantee it for one year. When I, the technician came, you know, he said the real, that they can do a temporary fix of that, but the real fix is to replace the roof, um, not the south side, that's fine, the, the north side, and to redo the fascia. Um, that would be the permanent fix for keeping the bats out. So, and then to come up and uh, to clean out the bat droppings, um, so they're, for the exclusion of the bats um, and the sealing of the areas where the bats are getting in, they would charge us $1,500 for that. And for, to come and clean up the, um, the droppings, uh, they would charge us $950 for a total of $2,450. Wow. wow, let's do it. So, sounds pretty reasonable to me. Um, I'll make that as a motion. All right. I'll second that motion. All those in Done. favor? Aye. 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 Any, I I say I should, I should have asked, is there, any, do it? is there any discussion? Uh, do it cheaper? No, no, no. I want to be, want you to follow up on it to get it sealed permanently. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's another, that's another, the next yeah, step. Yeah, I know, but. That's the next step. Yeah, we don't want to drop the ball. Right. right. If you yeah. don't do it, if you don't go to the right. expense of doing it, then Make sure. we should fix it so it ain't coming back. Yeah. Which that could be a pretty easy project. That could be a pretty yeah. easy project. Just going to get yeah. a carpenter up there to replace the wood. Yeah. Right. And Probably then, the and then what will happen in, in these sort of beginning plans for renovating the town hall, um, you know, according to the this sort of ad hoc committee that with the town hall is that th that would allow s a structural architect engineer to come in and do an assessment of uh, what might be needed to to renovate the town hall um, without having to worry about the toxicity of the bat droppings. Um, so that will be a next step, and obviously uh, priority would be to to uh, replace that part of the roof. Because if you look, the north side, no rust at all, fair, the fascia is nice south and tight. Side. You look on south the side. Uh, south side, yeah. You look on the north side, the roofing is all rusted and the fascia is kind of warped and pulling apart. Um, so it seems pretty obvious that this half of the roof got fixed, but not the other half. At some point in the past, I have no idea when. Um, okay, so um, is there any, any other discussion? Um, I should have asked for more discussion before we voted on it, but um, 
Any? No discussion. Okay, so that's a done deal. Um, so uh, the next item on the agenda is revisit the Church Street Stormwater Mitigation Project. Um, and let me just give you an explanation of why that is on the agenda, because we really have already made a decision. Um, and uh, basically, Grace Vinson, the Regional Planning Commission um, staff, who was with us when Chris came and gave his presentation, um, she is being pressured a little bit from the Mount Escutney Regional Planning Commission, which is the doler out of the funds for these oh. design projects. Of um, they want the, they want the town, and basically, I'm just going to read this. This is what they wanted the town to know as far as the implementation. If we changed our mind and decided to put some type of stormwater mitigation thing across the road here. Um, so they're t they wanted us to know that the town is welcome to apply for 100% of the funding necessary to implement the project. There is no match requirement for non-MS4 projects. And I'm sorry, I don't know what an MS4 project is. Um, I think it's when it's below uh, a big project. <laughs> anyway, um, as we discussed, it is a competitive grant process, so we cannot be certain the project will get funded. If the project is not funded, they can simply apply for funding again. So we did apply for implementation if we decided that we wanted to do this. Um, and we got turned, we didn't get awarded that we could apply again. Um, in addition, the town will not be obligated to pay for implementation out of pocket in the event that grant funding is not awarded. So if we did have a design done uh, with a 100% uh, with a plan and we couldn't get any funding, there's no obligation um, that the town has to do the implementation. Um, so I did talk to Grace about this. You know, she's kind of in the middle. They're kind of pressuring her her to ask us to rethink, rediscuss this or, already. Um, and I told her that I didn't think that I wanted to change my mind and I didn't think that. There's um, just, the, what I saw, you and the engineer said it was such a minuscule amount of mm -hmm. impact that it's just yep. not worth your money. I don't care whose money it is, it's still taxpayer money. Yeah, I, it's, I, would, I would personally question why is she being pressured so much? Because they, you see, um, this planning commission um, received a pot of money to spend. Yeah, they had to spend it. They had, they had to account for it. So um, it was such a low. Like we were going to spend a lot of money to like save a hundred pounds of potential. It, just, it wasn't a functional project, and it was not functional. And, and Grace understands the cost effectiveness aspect. It, it really wasn't cost effective. It was a, a waste of whether it's state money or town money. That was my opinion at first. It just wasn't worth it. Right. Just, oh, that's so, right. Wherever the money comes from, it's just not worth it. <laughs> it's, it's all, all the same all money. Money. <laughs> money. Right. However, if, I mean, if, we, if we take it to the different, to a next level, if we were to remove most of what we know of what is the central part of town, and buy out the houses and return this to a normal floodplain, then it's an efficient project. But right. they're not going to well, give that's, us that. That's right. yeah. We're talking about something that is not reasonable, yeah. right? Right. Right. That's why we stopped. So we stopped. It just got, it just it wasn't just, worth it. Just it just became on. Because it's like he said, that to fix the problem, you'd have to buy all the houses and turn it back into a mud flat, and that's not going right. to happen. Right. So, right. But we're at the beaver hat. No. But we have to admit the fact that most of our structures right here are built in an active floodplain. Right. Right. That's a place that is going to flood. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we accept that, then all of this infrastructure stuff is kind of silly because we're built in a place that is supposed to flood on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. right. And it does. So. And it does. <laughs> we see it's proven over and over again. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. History, yes. there's no mystery. Right. No mystery anymore. There's no okay. mystery. And it's not the 100 year story. Is it? No. No. no, it was happening every couple no, of years. It was <laughs> So, so I, I, we have done our due diligence by... We still know. Are you and everybody just, still know? Just, we're still know. And, and, um, we so revisited it. Big so there's one thing in our family. This little silk bomb we put over here on 
Bell and Lake Road is mm -hmm. working perfect. Good. And I like, I like your engineering. It, it keeps all the water in that silt pond until it has a chance to settle out and mm -hmm. evaporates. Mm -hmm. Not run over one dose. And that's what we're going to do at the end of Church Street eventually, right? Right there in Lonnie's. Well, well that's, yeah, and if we did that, that's, that's another part of this conversation. Um, chances are this, um, I know Chris had, I think he sent us some stuff about that, but that was probably something that we would just do on our own. I don't. Also, I don't you see spoke to Ronnie, and he was okay with it. I'm in favor. Oh, of, yeah, I'm in favor yeah, of doing it when it. you can do it. Uh, I wouldn't say that it'll happen this fall. No, no, no never no. happens. I hope just, not. No, hope it doesn't happen this fall. You guys have done enough. You've done plenty yeah, of work. We're good here. Yeah. So okay, so I will let um, Grace know this, and she pretty much knew what the answer would be anyway. She just said that she would contact us again to ask us to rethink it, and we did, and we pretty much came up with the same thoughts from before. Um, so um, I will s probably send her the minutes from the first meeting where we discussed this and these minutes. Um, so she has some backup from what the town um, discussed and, uh, and they'll have to find somewhere else to spend the money, I guess. Um, well, we can find a place for them to spend the money. Well, they won't give it to us unless- They won't uh, give it on the stuff you really need. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so, anything else about that at all from anybody who's here? All right. Okay. Mm so, um, Regional Emergency Management Committee appointment. So this, um, and Paul, you probably know already all about this, but this is a new uh, committee that the legislature felt we should be a part of. It's a Regional Emergency Management committee so it would be a bunch of other towns um, they would like two representatives from Woodbury um, Chance Payette who is our emergency management director is automatically one of those two and then they would like somebody else from the um, emergency uh, unit of town which basically is the fire That's department awesome, yeah. to uh, find another person to be the rep and we have until November 1st okay let me talk yeah. let me okay okay so, what's so it called we'll, again? Regional uh, emergency. Uh, yeah, I'll give you the whole thing if you oh, want. Well, I think I have it on the computer. You have it on the computer, yeah. Uh, yeah what is it called? Um, Regional Emergency Management Committee. What do we know? What, what do they it's have? more meetings what, you get to go to, to talk about. What do they have to have for the requirements? They have to be part of the emergency response community. We can make an honorary member. So they just have to have what? They so, have, um, or do they have to be part of something here? It must be. So if they're an EMT somewhere else, they must be a representative of the local EMS community. That doesn't mean anything. Well, they have to be. I don't know what have EMS. Have you got is. someone in mind? I don't have anyone in mind. No, maybe Chris does. I have like three or four in mind. Talk to me afterwards. We'll see. What we can do. So, okay. I mean, if they're not part of the fire department, but they're... If they have some they knowledge have the, and they skill have, in this, if they're in certified, this area. Yeah, yeah. if they're certified, they're certified, we'd like to have them. Yeah. Should be some diversity in it. Right. People look for I mean... Yeah, because I can't go to an any more meetings. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking of someone you. else. Yeah. I was thinking about on the fire department who does yeah. respond to emergency calls. So as I said, well, if Chris wants to talk, we will get together and we'll okay. have a name for is the next meeting. Okay, so yeah. November first is is the deadline. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we could have that name, that we could appoint them at the next uh, select board meeting. That would be that's our deadline Select to have a name. Okay. Okay. That'll be. And you got to go to the meetings. They're not going to pay you or give you mileage either. Right. Just you know, um, actually, <laughs> I sent an email, I kind of in a sort of a snickering email I, I, I sent to our, our two <laughs> reps, and one of them, David Yacovoni, is actually looking into that. Yeah, because so, they require all this stuff, but nobody pays you a dime. You get to burn your gas to drive for 30 minutes to go right. somewhere. Yeah. That's the real kicker with these things. Um, okay, so any other questions about that? No. Um, so we did discuss the Hardwick Gazette. Um, so, and at some point in the future, um, one of the things that towns sometimes do is that they designate an official paper of record, which would be some type of publication, newspaper, whatever, that 
is kind of the go-to, um, the acknowledged uh, newspaper that we would post, do any postings in. Um, and, you know, according to the state statute with this, you know, mix, well, I don't even want to call it a mix-up, but whatever, the, t the predicament that the Times Argus got us into, um, if we had a designation with the Harvard Gazette that that was our official paper of record and we did send it to them, then, then we would have been free and clear. Um, but, so, um, so we might want to do that at some point in the future. So hypothetically, when, they, when you guys meet tomorrow, we're going to have to pay charges again to have it put the papers all over again. I know. Yep. Yep. We won't send it to the Times Argus this time. You definitely want to do it right because oh. another one of my seats, I have a you person have to do that follows right. up on this yep. and it's pretty painful yep. if you okay. don't do it right. There's one no thing, remedy other than it just gives you heartburn. One thing I can say for the Times Argus is that I sent it from our new email addresses, mm -hmm. which went into their junk trash folder. Mm -hmm. Nobody at the Times Argus looked at that folder. Right. Until I called and called, and then I said, I'm going to go on and send it from our old email address. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. So I know I hardly ever look at my junk folder either. Um. Because when I thought they were going to take our old email address, mm -hmm. that it was going to automatically pop to our new email address, and that's what would automatically flow to. Whoever I sent it to, mm -hmm. not realize there was going to happen. Okay. Do you think we should give them a second chance? Well, actually, I did with the audit proposal. Okay. All right. And I sent the first one out Thursday. I hadn't heard anything today, so I resent it to the current email address I had, plus Melody, who actually got the other one into the okay. newspaper. Yeah, I think if you send it to the Times Argus this time, make sure that they're clear on, you know, maybe some kind of confirmation that they received that and that it will be. So maybe um, um, just to be safe, um, because the, you know, the Planning Commission obviously wants this meeting to happen as soon as possible because we're on a timeline to have the town plan approved. Um, so I'm wondering if tonight we should think of a newspaper that we would like to um, consider as the uh, official paper of record so that we make sure that it goes there too. So if there is a screw up again, um, we aren't left high and dry having to repay to send those notices out all over again. Obviously from our conversation before, I feel that using the Hardwick Gazette um, because it's basically subscription only online mm -hmm. really isn't, I mean, we, I don't think we should send any of our ads to them anymore. Um, so. But if you use the News and Citizens, yeah. um, more still still here. Okay. That's just a once a week newspaper that the is at. Right. We but use it, the World, which is a yeah. once a week newspaper, and then the Tom Tires. Okay, are the, are the News and Citizen or the World, are they available as paper copies in like downtown Hardwick or? Yes. Okay, um, but probably not in Montpelier? Uh, the World would be, I'm not sure about News and Citizens. Okay. So it happens in work with the Tom Tarkas. Does that get posted for so many days or just once? Uh, it will I get posted for as many times as we ask. As we ask in the post, yeah. So the catch this time is is that they didn't post it in a timely right. manner. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so if it seems like that'd be the more appropriate paper if if they can get it posted. If they can get it posted, posted in a timely fashion. Right. Yeah. yeah. Is the Times Argus available in like Hardwick? Can you pick up a copy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess maybe we should just we could designate the Times Argus as our. Um, Maybe the official paper of record, and then just make sure that any time we send them something, that we get some kind of confirmation. Um, I mean, well, I can I understand. I send them a copy of the ad that we do up, yep. and I ask them to send me back proof and pricing. Okay. And then I give them the okay to go ahead and put it in the paper. Okay. So I can understand where this might have just been. You did have new email addresses, so it could have. I can see how it could have ended up in the junk file and. Knowing how much I look at my junk file, I can understand why maybe it just sat there for a while. Um, but the one that I just 
sent for the audit I sent on Thursday from the old email address. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as of today, I still hadn't heard anything, so I then resent it to the original email address plus the melody okay. who was the supervisor down okay. there. So what I would do is clear up what email address they should anticipate so that um, so that it because doesn't... Because their old email addresses are only going to stay around for a certain length of time, right? Yeah. They but should be basically almost dead. If I, if I use the old one by mistake, I just get the notice that you have a new address. Yeah, a new address. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, well, maybe we should hold off till we see how that goes. Okay. Well, what's what's? Do we have a sense of cost for like going with the uh, Harvard Gazette and the California uh, Brandy Record? Can, Brandy well? can tell you. Or Robin can tell you. Because I believe we've only got to post in the one paper as long as we designate the paper. Yes. And then yeah. we got to post it here. But, we got to I mean, post it or whatever. We kind of, are we kind of doing an experiment right now to yeah. see what kind of response we get? Well, I mean, we've been posting in the four papers that were that were mentioned um, for most things. Okay. Um, and that seems to, I mean, that's all we can really, I mean, we could post in seven days. That's another paper that is, it's a weekly again, but it does get distributed throughout this area. Um, so that's another option. We could drop the Gazette and see what it takes to post in seven days. Um, and I thought about the Caledonia record, but I don't know how far out would they go. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's easy to get in town. You can get it in hardware. Can you get it in hardware? Okay. I'm going to pick it up. Because when I had the store next door, they wouldn't deliver it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Okay. So I can pick it up. In I, th I think one thing we need to be aware of is the more places we send it to, uh, the more it costs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But also, the better response we get. True. And yeah. there, I mean, we have to remember that there's folks on the other side of, of Woodbury that have a very different mm -hmm. response and very different record than we're going to get in yeah. terms of their availability. And who, who are those folks you're thinking of? The West Woodbury West folks? folks? Yeah. yeah. Um, and the West no, Woodbury folks are... They tell me that this one for the um, zoning ad there, Plain Plain she's going to cut that price in half from the original cost. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's nice of them. That's a good thing. Yeah. But I haven't got that price yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm thinking that maybe the Caledonia record is more available over on that side of town. Well, folks there pretty much I think that either Morrisville or Hardwick would be their you know where they go. Um, that's just a guess on my part. I haven't done it, but that's kind of the cl two Your closest towns. Your Western Mary, I would suggest more like the Hardwick is ever than News and Citizens. Yeah, News and for Citizens sounds good. For Caledonia, it would be more like. East Hyrule, yeah. Walden, Walden Danville, Danville. 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 Okay. Yeah. Times Argus would be south of us, so, yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to make sure that we publish things as broadly as possible. And if we, mm -hmm. and if it costs a little bit more for the time being, maybe it's, uh -huh. yeah. maybe it's worth it yeah. to make sure that we're covering our, mm -hmm. our whole town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a fairly diverse town, so. Yep. Chuck. You got it right there. Posted every meeting. Right. Yeah. That's another that's another avenue that we use. Yeah. The letters work just fine. That's how I, I think you're only required to do that. Watch that. Not maybe not tonight, but tomorrow or next yeah, week. Yeah, that's th those are the two traditional town on site avenues. posting sites. Yeah. The, that board inside the post office and at the town on the porch of the town office. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking about this TV here. Oh, right. There are a lot of people that watch it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that they do actual postings. Um. Well, Rob got right out and posted it. In the meetings, right? <laughs> <laughs> we had it all written up. We could hold it in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I just like to make, make a comment. Too. Sure. I agree that that the town should spend a little bit more in publishing to papers broadly mm -hmm. just to keep people informed. And if it comes to a matter of cost, the public will come to you and say, we'd like to spend less mm -hmm. on information. But I think we should. Mm -hmm. OK. Publish yeah, I publish it haven't broadly. yet had one person say, you published it too much. Yeah. Right, that's it true. It always is a complaint. Okay. You didn't do it enough. All right. OK. Thank you. 
Well, maybe I'll give seven days a call too. And, um, Sounds great to me. Because that's another avenue that definitely. Um, you that's can one post of the it on papers the I, I was at, just reading. Right? The website works too, so add it. Make mm -hmm. sure it's on the website, and then at least two locations yeah. in town, physical paper copies. Yeah, yeah those uh, those have been posted on yeah. the website. Um, so, okay. Um, so uh, on to updates, follow-ups, and other business. The town plan. Uh, we did talk about that, and it was pretty much. Um, you know, we have this uh, initial, I'll call it the initial final draft, has been sent out um, uh, as per the procedures, uh, steps in the procedure to neighboring towns, and it's available for town residents. We are collecting comments on the town plan. We had uh, an, a, a hearing scheduled for next Monday, the 18th. It looks like that will probably be postponed and rewarned. Re um, and that'll be decided uh, tomorrow evening at a, a planning commission meeting. Um, so that's where the town plan is at. Um, we've been mentioning a little bit the auditor RFP that's uh, going yeah, out or has wow, gone yeah. out. Um, and then the RJEC, ARPA project committee, you mentioned that yeah, so Chance has to name. Chance to yeah. get his names. Okay, yeah. Because he, he's gonna have the names and we would have to appoint that as a committee. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I would like to, to see those names and, and yeah, if we absolutely. could have them, uh, maybe for maybe we could appoint them at the next. Um, yeah. Probably you should reach out to him and just okay, get the names. I, I'll so do we'll that. Have them for the next meeting, then we can appoint. Yeah, he's been out rattling the trees and getting people. So okay, yeah. So um, okay, so sounds like that's been um, worked on. Um, any other business that anyone would like to bring before the select board while um, we're here? And you're here. All right. Didn't hear anything. So um, the next thing on the agenda is to Motion adjourn. Motion to adjourn. I'm a second. So I can look at the bills. Okay. Any discussion on that at all? Um, here I don't want to look at the bills. Can okay. we talk about that? Mm -hmm. oh. Hearing none. Um, uh, Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay. Then I can talk to you too, so we can so, set up time. Okay. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Okay. So the meeting is over at seven twenty-five. You round tomorrow night.